hello, welcome to my channel. And did you ever want to try software defined radios? Um, I find them very useful, I uh, use them quite a lot. There are quite a few different models around. The one I'm showing here on the screen is the one I'm going to use right now to show you how to install it on Ubuntu 22. Again, I'm using one LTS version <clears throat> earlier than the latest, which would have been 24, because um, I find things work better for me. And sometimes the release packages don't work on the newest um, Linux releases. So this um, is the device, where is it here? <clears throat> this is the NESDR Smart from Nuelec. And these cost about $30, or well, they did. Prices keep increasing and I've, I've got a few of them and I like them and they work. So um, in fact, I got so many of them that I thought let's make a, a Frankenstein monster because I like to use ThinkPads and I have a collection of old ThinkPads. I buy broken ones and fix them or I get them for free. And what I've done, this is a, a Lenovo ThinkPad X230, is I've glued one of those Neuralek dongles, SDR dongles, onto the lid, which people might say is sacrilege because I've half part, no, I didn't cover up the logo, so then it's okay. But I find it very useful because you can just open this laptop. I've got a little stubby antenna on it at the moment. You can just open it up and you can go and sit in a cafe and, and freak everybody out because you've got an antenna on your laptop. It also has some um, USB cable that plugs into a USB port here. Um, you have to watch out with these USB ports. If they're a bit worn out or the cable's not the best and it's a wiggly connection, then suddenly it stops working. It's really annoying. So you have to try and find a good cable. So this is um, the SDR glued onto the laptop lid. This is a um, Ubuntu 22 running on here. But <clears throat> I'm going to install it on a fresh installed machine to show you um, how to do it. I uh, tried to do it this morning and it didn't work because it's fresh installed. There's some packages missing, as you'll see in a minute. So uh, I'm starting with a, a fresh installation of Ubuntu 22.04.5, <clears throat> the latest version. It's called Jammy jellyfish. I can never remember that. And you need to know that because when you go to download the software, you need to know that you want the jammy version. So um, you go to the GitHub page of the author and the software I like to use is SDR++ because it's it's very fast. The display is fast. It's almost too fast. Sometimes it can make you seasick with the uh, spectrum and the waterfall, <clears throat> but I like it and uh, it works well for me seems to suit the way I, I like to listen to radio signals. So um, this is the GitHub page for SDR++. There are three different ways of writing it. You either write it with the PLUS twice, which is how it's named up here. I'll put the URL in the description below. Um, it's often referred to by people as SDR++ written mathematically, but when you actually come to run it on Linux, and if you want to type it in the command line to run, you type SDRPP and the PP stands for plus plus, you'll see me do that. <clears throat> so you have to know which one to use. Anyway, um, you go to this GitHub page to download it. And if you look here, this is the um, the latest nightly build, which is 1.2.1, the previous version I used to use, and it was fine, that's that one. And it's getting a bit old now, I think it's a year or two old. Oh, here we are, 2021. So that's uh, three years old, <clears throat> really. Anyway, so I'm going to download this one. Where is it? We want the one for Jammy. It's down here, SDR PP Ubuntu Jammy Debian package. So let's download that. And uh, oh, it downloaded before I could move the mouse. There we are, 2.2 megabytes. That's the sort of size that software should be, I think. <clears throat> Not too big. And what I'm going to do is quickly check that it really did download and end up in my downloads folder, which I don't already have on that screen that I'm recording. So here it is. The downloads folder is here <clears throat> and there it is the file that just downloaded successfully so that's good um, what do I need to do I need to install it because you can't just run it you have to install it first so um, what I'm going to do to make things a bit quicker and easier is I'm going to copy the um, command to install that using apt or apt and I have to remember to open up a uh, <clears throat> terminal window to do this Sometimes you can right click on things and click install, but uh, I'm just in the habit of doing this. So here's the uh, terminal. Don't be afraid. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Control plus. And then you just do control shift V. And there's the command I've copied. <clears throat> so uh, password. 
is that. <clears throat> Do I want to install it? Yes, 115 megabytes disk space will be used. Shouldn't take too long and it's going to install. The other software you can use, of course, is SDR Hash, <clears throat> which is on the RTL SDR page, which is um, the recommended one for the RTL SDR dongles. But I prefer this SDR++. And of course, there are plenty of other SDR softwares as well. <clears throat> and I use all sorts of them for different uh, purposes. But um, this time, I'm using SDRPP. Let's see what happens if we try to run it. SDRPP. And, oh, <clears throat> it has actually started, which is nice. Um, there's no SDR dongle plugged in at the moment, so there's not much point trying to uh, start anything working. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't given me some errors about missing packages. Okay. Yeah. So what we have to do <clears throat> is to uh, install the uh, other libraries that are required by this. It doesn't automatically install them when you install strpp. So I'm going to copy these <clears throat> and I'm going to paste them into the terminal. So you also need to install these um, dependencies as well. Let me see if I can move that a little bit. There we are. It's not many, maybe six or seven. So I'm going to install those because they're missing. Do you want to continue? Yes. Another 37 megabytes. And <clears throat> hopefully this will work. It may need a reboot, but I'm going to live dangerously and do it without rebooting. So I'm going to plug in to this Ubuntu machine the dongle I showed you a minute or two ago. I can get the USB plug to plug in. There we are. And of course I'm going to check that it's plugged in with LS USB. Uh, da -da. Yeah, this is the, um, the chip in that dongle. So it's plugged in. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Let's do SDRPP. <clears throat> See what happens. I'm going to make it full screen as well. And probably it's not there. There's a refresh button I like to hit to load the various devices. And oh, it's there. RTL SDR. Not the TCP one because that's via a um, network connection TCP link. So you want that one in this case because it's an RTL SDR dongle. I've selected it. Let's turn the gain up because it always starts with zero and it's confusing when you, you don't get any signal. So I turn it up and I also turn on the AGC automatic gain control. So let's press the start button and see what happens. I've also set the frequency <clears throat> to 867.5 megahertz because that's the um, reticulum message chat uh, frequency. And um, I press the start button too, which is up here. Let's stop it. <clears throat> and then you can see where, the, see where the start button is. So after you set a frequency, we don't have to do it after, but I like to set a few things first. And um, that's stopped. And then when I'm ready, and I think it might work, I press the start button and it should start. It's a bit slow. You have to press the start button and then wait. It has to load up some drivers. So don't be too hasty and press it again. Otherwise you stop it, which is what I did. So you can see it's, it's working. And um, I'm going to send a uh, announce packet. Oh, there it is. And you notice that the noise floor got knocked down because it's such a strong signal that the AGC pushed the noise floor down, the automatic gain control. So um, you can adjust these uh, sliders, of course, to uh, give you the sort of display that you want. You can move the noise up a bit, but then the, the waterfall fills up <clears throat> a bit too. So I tend to try to keep the noise at the bottom. And the top is zero, so it's zero dBm, which is one milliwatt, if this is calibrated, which it probably isn't. Um, so as you can see, it works. I have got the sound off. I've worked out now how to turn on the sound, <laughs> um, <clears throat> which I didn't do in the last video. So if I turn on the sound, you'll hear a lot of noise, and then you'll hear the, the announce packet. So let's do that. Uh, so this one. So there it is. Hopefully you heard that. <clears throat> so you can listen to what a LoRa uh, chirp signal sounds like. So that's SDR plus plus installed on Ubuntu 2204. And um, <clears throat> there's a fresh installation of the operating system so that uh, I can really check that it really is going to work. Um, if you've got other drivers loaded, sometimes they can be problematic and uh, you might have to remove them. But so far, it always seems to work for me. 
The other software I like to use is OpenWebRx Plus on Ubuntu because then you've got lots of decoders already built in. <clears throat> there are decoders, of course, in SDRPP, but I, I like the OpenWebRx Plus better when I'm looking at decoding things like ISM packets and stuff. Anyway, that's enough from me. Please remember to make comments, and uh, if you would like to like uh, or even subscribe, then I'd be very happy. And uh, let's see what I do next.